and welcome to 245. 245. That would be the second AMP you guys have made it through AMP oh one. My gosh. Thank goodness. Oh wow. But now we start our huge journey into the body. The rest of the body. Oh boy. What I call the ushy gushy good stuff is really what we're going to be talking about here. Um, and we have in front of us Floyd. Floyd Goodbody. Floyd Goodbody is making his film debut today. To He's help. one of our new models. <laughs> He's going to help you guys learn a little bit about the ushy gushy good stuff. Mm -hmm. Floyd. So our first unit is going to be the endocrine system, and we'll be uh, you know focusing in on that. But we thought you guys have really never even seen Not so much. the inside of the body. Let's at take all. a tour. We're going to take a tour of Floyd. And he's starting up at Floyd's head. You can see, you know, his brain is, is exposed. We've seen that a couple million times yeah, now. Yeah, brain, brain. And he also has part of his entire skull basically taken off here. Um, and you can see that inside his nasal passage and his mouth, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on in there. So we'll be talking about the palate and the tongue and the um, sal salivary glands and teeth and all that fun stuff as we move through this semester. Uh, we'll chew it up. We we'll really will. <laughs> we'll chew it all up. As we move down into the neck, you're going to see the thyroid cartilage, which we call the Adam's apple, especially in the males. And below the thyroid cartilage would live the thyroid. That's something we're going to be talking about in our endocrine system as well. And, um, Corrine, I think we've come to a stopping point. We have. Uh, how are we going to fix this? Well, I can do some minor surgery. All right, minor surgery, I think, is okay. Gonna, sorry, Floyd. Watch we'll your eyes, some, folks. This is going to get scary. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa! And here we have what most humans should look like. Not so plastic. Not so plasticky yeah. and squeeze toyish, but uh, everything's kind of all shoved in there. So this semester we're going to be kind of going layer by layer, piece by piece, and trying to put all these systems together in here. So in the thoracic cavity, you can see <gasps> underneath <gasps> the ribs, our lungs. Right lung and left lung with something very important nuzzled right in between there. It's getting a great big hug from the lungs <laughs> is our heart. Now separating the thoracic cavity from our abdominal cavity is the diaphragm. Diaphragm is going to, oh no, what's happening to his lungs? I'm taking him away. Our diaphragm is going to help us breathe and underneath that we are going to see the biggest organ in our body, which is the liver. liver. And on the liver is this teeny tiny little green thing. Gallbladder. Gallbladder. You might not even have one of those, but mm, we all come with one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Nuzzled off just to the left of the liver is going to be our stomach, which looks kind of small on this model. He has not eaten Thanksgiving dinner. No, no. no. And the stomach is also hiding two for rather important things. First of which being the pancreas, which we're going to talk about in the endocrine chapter as well. And off to the edge of the pancreas is going to be the spleen, which we often hit in car accidents and blow it up. Yeah. I know. And behind it, we have kidneys. All right, so you can see the kidneys, they actually lie in what we call the retroperitoneal cavity. They have their own little casing you'll see when we do our cat dissection. And underneath there we have Intestines. intestines. Lots of gook. The guts. The guts. Mm -hmm. Small intestines starts there and goes through the whole middle, and then the large intestines, which is actually shorter than the small intestines, but fatter, will wrap around our basically our entire abdominal cavity. And then if you take it out, Kareen, oh, I'm going can we do it? it? This one's going to be dangerous. Hang on. Take it out. Oh. Oh, there we, go. we have the internal portion of our abdominal cavity, which at the back you can see the rectum, which would of course exit through the anus. And and the bladder up towards the front, which of course will exit through the urethra, holding our urine. And this guy is male. Yeah. So his name is Floyd. So he's it's got a boy. he's got the boy parts of the penis and the testes, which we'll also be talking about this semester as well. Um, and we'll take a little venture into Floyd's girlfriend, Melinda. Melinda will have the girl parts. So we'll talk about that at the end of the semester. So overview. That's the tour. Let's see.